Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is your boy, Captain Cowboy, with my good friend Swag here doing the Iron yep, Throne yep. Beginner's Guide miniseries. And tonight we're doing part nine, I believe, of the miniseries. And that includes equipment. So this is going to be equipment for all different types of players. So we're going to talk free to play. We're going to talk limited budget. We're going to talk pay to win heavy pay to win so we're gonna break it up into a couple different tiers and we're gonna explain everything that we see everything that we can possibly have and more information about all of it and how to craft and all of that good stuff so this is going to be just a basic run through of all of our different equipment gladiator set is going to be the basic most common equipment set I highly recommend you just do not bother with gladiator maybe like your first couple days you can but I am going to set you on a crash course to success. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the 10 step process. Know that we are not quitting a drug like methamphetamines. We are crafting heaven on earth. So Berserker set is going to be our level 20 set. This is infantry gear. This is extremely easy to obtain. You can easily bring it up to plus 15. It is a great set to go ahead and kill monsters with. And that's where the benefits end. This is not something that we want to focus on and maintain throughout the game. Because level 30 gear has been extremely accessible to players of all levels. It's a gear set that I use. It's a gear set that swag the 1 billion power in one month free to play. Boy, boy genius has obtained. And it's something that the game wants you to obtain. It's the developer's gift to us. And it's amazing because they just buffed the Guardian set. The Guardian set is going to be our defensive set. So let's go ahead and take this bite for bite and analyze it. So we have our Conqueror set. Conqueror set is our infantry set. Um, you can craft it at all different grades. However, again, I only allow people to craft at Immortal. If you're not crafting at Immortal, let me get my paddle out because, ladies and gentlemen, we're going back to 1950 or whatever year, and we will punish you because that is not acceptable if you don't have the ability to craft at immortal you are wasting your time you are wasting your resources you are wasting your materials and you're wasting your speed ups only craft anything at immortal no matter what it is then we have our dominator set which is going to be our cavalry gear now cavalry is a later game troop type so it's not something i'm going to focus on too heavily in this video but it does have leverage over archers and a lot of people that i've seen playing especially in the newer kingdoms, are not going to be having cavalry gear. If they do have cavalry gear, they can easily be countered and leveraged with infantry troops, and infantry troops are accessible by anyone of any power level, any spending level. We then have our destroyer set, which is going to be our archer gear, and this is great if you want to go ahead and get leverage over everyone else who has that infantry gear. And then we have our guardian set, which is going to be a strong defensive set this is something you're going to want on your guard captain or if you're holding a sanctuary this is something you're going to want to send with some troops in order to utilize a defensive guard captain in a sanctuary now let's go ahead and analyze this how can we obtain this how can we make this better and how can we craft it so the best way is to get our level 30 gear um, for free to play is going to be through special events so we just have the gift box event and we might be getting that back in the anniversary event I don't know they are extremely secretive about it Netmarble is um, we just finished a gift box event and it gives amazing level 30 material chests where I think swag were you able to get any to plus 10 pl any plus 10 sets and like conquer or anything I have plus 12 slash plus 10 conquer this is uh, a split set free to play player with plus 10 to plus 12 of level 30 gear that compares to about plus five or so in our level 40 gear some of my gear sets at level 40 aren't plus five so for swag to have that just puts him at an advantage especially at free to play and that's just phenomenal other ways we can obtain this is going to be through monsters it's going to be through the golden moon the golden moon is the best way to get these level 30 uh, material chests for free as a free to play player now there are new ways to obtain this we're going to go ahead and take a look quickly at the new shop um, they just released new packages actually today um, of the conquer 
and all the other level 30 gears for twenty dollars you can get eighteen eight eight hundred material chests now you'll probably need about three thousand material chests if you're going for a full plus fifteen do not quote me on this though because this is completely dependent on how you roll so it can change very easily now another th we're gonna move on now but those are some of the best ways you can go ahead and obtain your level 30 gear now we have our level 40 gear we have our slaughter set which is gonna be our infantry set we're gonna have outcry which is gonna be our archer set we're gonna have our agility set which is the cavalry and the majestic set which is our best in slot defensive gear so something that we want to go ahead and look at with this is how is the best what's the best way to obtain this how can I obtain this as a free to play player how can I obtain this for as little as possible and how can I obtain this as quickly as possible so if we're looking at this as free to play it really will not be easy until late game when you're a late game you can go ahead and get into the higher platinum uh, golden moon sanctuary and we have a video on golden moon already and this will give us level 40 chests. Now it's going to be a slow grind. It's going to be tough if you cannot maintain it. Um, so there's that. Now if we're going to be a spender, a small spender, um, you can probably get a very high enhancement level of this level 40 gear by maxing out the material chest packages for $90 every week. Every week it's going to be a different material chest. Um, at least that's what I've seen in the past month uh, plus since I've started playing this game it's a relatively new thing so this week we're getting agility chests you can get 1800 material chests for 21 for uh, $90 now if you want to get 2100 chests you would want to go ahead and buy a couple other packs and get your gold rush to that 50,000 gold tier uh, or 70,000 gold tier my bad which would be $315 worth of packs in order to obtain more gear so one week will be slaughter you can get 1800 chests of slaughter uh one week will be majestic for that best in slot defensive gear another week will be outcry for our archers and now we have finally seen agility so this is going to be the cheapest way to obtain it now if you want to go ahead and obtain it a little quicker or just want to they don't have the set that you're looking for and you really want to get this set done here's how i recommend you purchase your gear so let's say we want to get outcry we would want to pair it up with a gold rush event that has outcry so right now it is agility but i'm not going to focus on agility we're just going to make a scenario saying that this week we can get um outcry so i'm going to spend 320 dollars by spending 320 dollars i'm going to get a hundred thousand t7 archers i'm going to get 300 majestic material chests for that best in slot defensive gear and i'm also going to get 300 material chests of outcry gear so i'm going to get one necklace i'm going to get one hood and i'm going to get one bow so i'm getting a, a helm a weapon and the accessory so i'm getting three different pieces all utilizing three different sets of materials and then i'm getting 450 plus the 300 for a total of 715 seven, 750 material chest total for outcry and this will allow me um depending on how you roll to at least get a full set of outcry at immortal you will be able to get most likely a, a set of gear also for your deputy and this is going to be your quickest way to obtain a ready to go ready to attack level 40 set of gear with your t7s so that's going to cost you 320 dollars now the 20 dollars will come with purchasing a hero package however we'll get into that when we talk about heroes in a later video now we're also going to have to talk about crafting in a later video due to running out of time in this video. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have learned a little bit about different types of gear, how to obtain gear, and how to purchase it. So I showed you some very effective ways of uh, obtaining gear for lower than what you wouldn't know as list price. If you look at list price, it would cost $600 to obtain gear. I showed you how to obtain a full immortal set for $90 of the best in slot gear. I showed you how to obtain it very quickly, ready to attack with T7s. For $320, which can be lowered to $315 depending on how you break it up. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. This is Captain Cowboy. If you enjoyed this video, want to get out into the playtest, go ahead and reach out to me in a private message. All the ways to contact me are in the description of this video. And you can get into the playtest. 
Um, and also, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you all for watching. This is Kevin Cowboy and my boy Swag. Peace. See ya.